welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sophie and i'm back in your screens guys with another banger today i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to style your short knotless braids don't get me wrong these styles could be used on your long braids your mini twist your locks whatsoever if you know that you're here for the styles you want to slay your braids don't go anywhere keep watching this video i got you We're starting off with our first style as a center part, which of course will be packing as a low ponytail. As a DIY body that I am, this is how I tie my own hair using a shoelace. Your low ponytail has nothing to do with your neck. Take it a little higher, just like you see mine. This style is for our girlies who like to keep it simple, but in a few seconds, I'll show you how to switch it up. Did I say few seconds? For style number two, we are going to be twisting on what is left of our ponytail. So twist until you think it is firm enough and then hold it down on the foundation of your ponytail. I'm going to be making use of a rubber band. You can use whatever you want. This is an easy alternative to the claw clips, so if you don't have them or you don't know how to use them, here you go. Bring out those curls and we're done. For style number three, we're doing a side part, isolating a good chunk of hair on the side with the most braids. Pack up the rest of the hair in a ponytail. By the time you're done, your hair should look like this. Using our bobby pins, we're going to hold the isolated hair at the back. I use more than one bobby pin just to be safe. Don't worry about the back of the hair. It will be the star of the show if you did everything neatly. Style number four is different from number three with just one step. We're rolling up the ponytail into a high bun and for this look, I'm going with a messy bun just because I think it gives off a more elegant look. No one will believe that it's just one step different from style number three because look at the way my face changed. I love this hairstyle. For style number five, this step is completely optional. Isolate the number of strands you would like to be left in front. We need two low buns at the end of this style, so neatly divide your hair in two. I'm just tying both sides with a few strands of my braids. You can use whatsoever, there are no rules. Using rubber bands, we'll be making two buns by twisting the ends of each ponytail and holding it down to its foundation. Style number six is another side part. Isolate as much hair as you see me doing from both sides. Take the hair from both sides and tie them at the back. This is a pretty easy way to slay your braids. Using a claw clip, you could make style number six look a lot better. Style number 8 is a basic high pony. I put this here because I found out some people still don't know how to do their high ponytails. Just know that some people is my mom.
Style number nine is my favorite hairstyle from this video, and for that, we'll be making a bow on my head. Simply make out the middle of your ponytail, take out three strands of hair, and braid them. With that done, make two equal halves of your ponytail and just basically bend them to look like bows. Pass the braided strand in the middle of the bended ponytail and using a bobby pin hold everything at the back. Use the pin as close to the bow as possible. This will give it a more firm appearance. For style number 10, we're going with the high bun. This one is pretty special. Just arrange your curls and then bend your ponytail from the back to the front. Don't twist the ponytail, just bend. After neatly tying it down, wrap what's left in the front around the bun. Style number 11 is the center part. On each side of the part, make out a small portion of hair at the front with a horizontal parting. Pack what is left of the hair in a high ponytail. Next up, we'll take both sides of the cutout portion all the way to the back and tie it. Like I said before, don't worry about what's going on at the back because it should look normal. For style number 12, wrap up everything, including that troublemaker at the back in a high bun. After bringing them to the front, I just wrapped everything up until I got a good messy bun. Feel free to rewatch that part of the video to see exactly how I did mine. If you're wondering how you deal with the mess at the back, just get your claw clip. That is the solution to every mess that you make on your hair. I take back whatever I said a few minutes ago about my favorite hairstyle. This one is my favorite For style number 13, again, the two braids in front are completely optional, but share the rest of your hair into two uneven halves. Tie the topmost half with whatever band of your choosing. I use the rubber band in most parts of this video. Nobody should judge me, I beg. This right here is literally the easiest hairstyle on earth. For our last style, make a cute bun out of the ponytail. Thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you got exactly what you were looking for don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment tell me how beautiful i look in this video and also tell me what styles are your favorite and which one you will be trying don't forget to subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much Mwah.